Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And we're going to answer in this video some questions that um, several viewers want to uh, know about the old Internet Explorer, the old Edge, as we are getting into, of course, the new Microsoft Edge browser. And, of course, these are interesting questions. And um, you'll learn a little about how Windows works because of... Uh, of the video here so a lot of you have been saying why is Internet Explorer still in Windows I mean isn't that an old browser that shouldn't be here anymore and um, do I need to uninstall Microsoft Edge after I install the new Edge and all of these questions are gonna be answered in one simple video here first of all let's talk about Internet Explorer Microsoft's own old uh, browser it's at Internet Explorer 11 right now and of course a lot of people ask me over time I don't understand why Internet Explorer is still in Windows it all has to do with its integration within Windows Windows has one very nice feature that is also a big flaw and it's the fact that it is great it will let you run legacy software and legacy, um, you know, uh, features a long time after they actually are, you know, supposed to be gone. And that, well, a lot of people in enterprise love that because it means that with every new version, you still can run the old stuff. Problem is, it's also a flaw. It's a problem because that also means you got to keep old stuff within Windows all the time. You got to keep old modules and old software. And it has to stay there because if you remove it, it removes that compatibility for older uh, features and older uh, software. So Internet Explorer kept staying in Windows, even through Windows 10, for this simple reason. Enterprise mostly need a lot of them still need Internet Explorer because it's so tightly uh, integrated within Windows that it actually uh, was kind of part of the system and a lot of uh, features uh, in the enterprise and a lot of connected ways the enterprise used for network and for some of their own software meant that they needed to have this compatibility through Internet Explorer um, in there and they still a lot of enterprise still needed today so that's why Internet Explorer is kind of you know hanging on now when you install Windows 10 it is to note that Internet Explorer is not installed there are some modules of it but the browser itself you need to install it through the uh, programs and features and add Internet Explorer 11 because it's not there in a clean install of Windows 10 so for those asking, should I remove it? Well, technically, you shouldn't have it. it. Technically, it's not there. For the Microsoft Edge browser, the first Microsoft Edge browser that was released with Windows 10 in 2015, what is happening is if you get the new Edge, you have nothing to do. The new Edge will import from it and will deprecate it. It will hide it and make it uh, invisible to you. You once again, you have nothing to do. It's all done automatically. And that is because they want you to use the new one, but they can't totally remove the old one for the exact same reason that Internet Explorer is still hanging on. There's some stuff that needs to use the old Edge engines. A lot of apps from the Microsoft Store actually use old uh, the, the old Edge engines to work. So they remove the browser, but they keep some of the modules there so that things continue running smoothly. And that's the thing. And that's what's happening with all of that. So that's why, you know, all of this is hanging on and why all of this is still in there simply because of legacy reasons, being able to run and do things that, you know, some enterprise and probably if some uh, users actually absolutely need. 
Uh, and, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's good. You know, a lot of enterprise rely on that, the fact that it's compatible for years. But it's also a problem because it also means that you got to, you know, push some old software and old stuff uh, forward in new versions of Windows in order for all of that to actually work. So that's the reason why all of this is happening. And uh, for the rest, well, uh, this is, uh, you know, something you shouldn't really worry about. All you should worry is, you know, try not to use Internet Explorer or the, if possible, because uh, you know, even Microsoft said um, about a year ago, you know, shouldn't have Internet Explorer. Uh, you shouldn't use Internet Explorer anymore. This is not a good idea, you know. And at the time, they were actually pushing you and saying, well, you know, you should go to Google Chrome. So, you know, for Microsoft to tell you to go to Chrome at the time, that kind of tells you they, they kind of or don't want you to use this anymore. But now with the new Edge browser, which is Chromium-based, at least uh, there's that option available. So that was a brief history of why these two software are still on your Windows machines. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.